This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Once in a while I do ultra short videos and this is one of them, so enjoy! Okay guys, well another uh, ultra short tutorial and in today's video I'm going to talk about how you can tear off a copy of a perspective view, okay? So what I've done is I loaded up a scene that I did a long, long time ago, uh, which is this guy right here. It's a kind of a living room type deal. And what I did is I added a camera uh, from a different angle. So if I go to Windows and Outliner, it should be in here somewhere. And it looks like I didn't delete the history here, but that's fine. Anyway, there's a quicker way to get there. I'm just going to go to uh, Panels, Perspective, and Camera 1. So, um, like I said, camera pointing at my couch. Uh, now, what I want to demonstrate here is that you can go in and look at your perspective from two different angles at the same time. Okay? So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take uh, just any polygon object, which is a cube in this case. I'm just going to move that into our scene. I have to zoom in. Let's see where we're at. Okay, we'll hit R to scale that up. All right, so we've got this cube going on, and I'll hit W to move that up a little bit. Okay, let's see where we're at. Just so we can see it when we have to. All right, and again, it really doesn't matter that much. Okay, all right, so we're in our perspective view. And like I said, I got that other uh, camera view as well. So what we're gonna do is with this selected, I'm gonna go to uh, panels and I'm gonna go down to tear off copy. Okay, now you can see that a copy has been made. Now you would think that this would kind of be a screenshot or a, uh, an image, but what I'll do is I'll uh, push this down over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, this guy. I'm going to go to panels and I'm going to go to perspective and I'm going to select my camera one, the one that's pointing at my couch. Okay. And there you have it. Now uh, I got my camera position here and I got my regular perspective here. And the cool thing is if I now start to move my object, you can see that it's moving in both. And that can sometimes be very, very helpful. Okay. So that's all there's to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, little tutorial. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.